battle belt, or war belt, is a piece of equipment that allows the user to carry more gear than they otherwise would be able to carry. It is essentially a thick padded belt with molly or pals webbing around the entire perimeter, allowing the user to strap on whatever they may need for those extra games. This includes dump pouches, ammo pouches, water pouches, uh, pouches for spare tanks, EMT pouches, whatever you may need to keep you in the game longer. It is important, however, to not overload your battle belt. Too much weight on the system could cause chafing on the user's hips, especially during running. You'll notice the D-loops around the entire perimeter of the battle belt. These allow the user to strap the unit to their plate carrier, which ensures the load is distributed a little bit more evenly through their shoulder region and not placed entirely on their hips. Now you will be required to purchase some sort of belt system to keep the unit upright, and by that I mean the internal uh, rigid belt that travels the entire length of the battle belt rig. Um, you'll, you can see right here that the belt is fed through a sleeve around the entire unit. Um, some sort of rigid belt is ideal as it helps the unit maintain its shape, and something with a quick detach buckle system. This allows you to quickly drop the unit on the fly. Now let's talk about what accessories I'm running on my battle belt. So first off here, we have a Condor dump pouch. The reason why I'm choosing to run it on a battle belt system is because my plate carrier does not actually have side real estate on it for a dump pouch. Now some plate carriers either feature side panels for side plates, which are usually equipped with molly or pals webbing, or in the case of a uh, JPC style carrier, um, the elastic cummerbund retention system will typically have three rungs of molly on it. Because mine is just a quick detach single buckle that secures the plate carrier to my body, I don't have enough real estate to mount the dump pouch. And so this allows me to mount it just behind my left hip um, for those faster reloads. Now the Condor dump pouch is um, pretty well priced. Now the only bit of the quality that can go on it is the top um, kind of meshy fabric stuff that keeps the, uh, the magazines from falling out. You can see right there it's the tan color stuff. Um, over prolonged and heavy use that component of it can tend to tear and if it tears enough and the elastic retention system be begins to fall out of it, it may do a poor job of retaining the magazines. Now as you can see by this video here, I managed to fit seven magazines in there. The seventh one is pretty tight. Um, the last one, the eighth mag magazine, I don't uh, really count it as being able to fit in because it just kind of awkwardly sticks out and doesn't go in all the way here. So I guess rule of thumb is you'll be able to comfortably fit six T15 mags in this. Um, you you got to be aware though if you're running larger uh, magazines, it may be a little bit more awkward. Um, you might not be able to fit as many inside of it. Um, so that includes your dam mags, mil sig mags, and scarab mags. Moving on, the next piece of equipment I'm carrying is a Condor H2O pouch. Now this thing is awesome. I love this pouch. Uh, this pouch I've had zero is issues with. I've been able to play just as hard as I can. Um, I don't use it for storing water bottles, although we will store, you know, one of those large, um, you know, camping water bottles. Um, but it does quite a few things. So first of all, it provides me with a nice place to quickly stow my squeegee. I just uh, kind of throw it in there through the molly loops, and it does not fall out, which is nice. And it's quick and easy to access anytime I need to do a swab. You'll notice it also has a the uh, the large pouch on the top here. Now. It will actually comfortably hold two 13 cubic inch tanks. So what I actually do here is you get those little caps uh, for the top of your 13 CIs. Actually, to be fair with this, you don't even need them because the top is padded and dirt won't be getting in there anyway, so you're not worried about damaging your threads. But you can carry two 13 cubic inch tanks in there in addition to the one that's on your gun. So if you don't like running a remote line and you like being you know, just uh, contained with your marker, that's a great way to do so. So here we have the uh, Condor ammo pouch. So th this pouch is awesome, allows you to quickly access anything you need, like smoke grenades. Now obviously no one was in there, I'd never shoot anybody that close. Um, but anyways, here's the ammo pouch. 
Um, so it's great. Velcro secured on the front, um, and it actually has a double kind of um, lid flap system. So that second pouch there, that second lid, can be secured via buttons on the inside for extra protection. It has elastic retention for whatever you may need. Um, I like to use this to store multi-tools, you know, smoke grenades, a uh, rag to wipe your goggles if you need so. Um, it can fit really whatever you want. It'll also fit one of those smaller boxes of first strike rounds. I believe those are the 100 round count boxes or 50 round count boxes, but it'll fit one of those in there comfortably for the extra firepower. So this has been my battle belt uh, loadout. And be sure to hang around where you can select the other components of my gear that you would like to learn about.